everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Eagles going up against the Patriots. What is going on, YouTube and sports fans? Welcome back to my Sports Talk channel. It's just Matthews here bringing you guys another NFL video with some Madden 18 gameplay. In this video, we're going to be previewing Super Bowl 52 between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New England Patriots. Now, just like I did in my last NFL video, I'm going to go ahead and bring y'all some keys to both the Eagles and the Patriots to kind of give y'all a little heads up of what y'all can expect, as well as a little heads up of who might be lifting up the Lombardi Trophy this year. Now, I know most of the young fans may not recall this, but this is actually a rematch of Super Bowl 39 in which the Patriots ended up claiming their third Super Bowl title over the Eagles back in 2004. Now, I have to admit myself that I don't even really remember too much from that Super Bowl. I was only like six or seven back at that time, but all I really remember is Tom Brady ended up manhandling my Steelers back in the AFC Championship game. This, however, is not the first time that there will be a Super Bowl rematch, as it's actually happened six different times, and actually between the Cowboys and the Steelers, it's happened three different occasions. Now, in those first five rematches, there's only been one occasion to where there wasn't a repeat winner, and that was between the Dolphins and the Redskins back in Super Bowl 17. So if you want to look at it in that way, this kind of favors the Patriots to be a repeat winner as well. Now, I'm not going to just end the video here and tell y'all that the Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl. All I'm really stating is that history shows that it's kind of favoring that the Patriots will be a repeat winner this year. Ironically enough, there's only been one Super Bowl rematch in my lifetime, and that just so happened to have the Patriots involved in that as well. So if that doesn't give you any sort of idea of how dominant that the Patriots have been in the 2000s era, then I really don't know what to tell you. I don't want to go trash in Super Bowl 39 and say it wasn't a good game because the Patriots only did win by three. However, I do think that this game might be a little different compared to the teams that there were back in that game. I'm sure most fans can agree that the Patriots will be favored to win this game, but I don't know. I just feel like there's something different about this game compared to what it was back in 04. If you were to do a little digging around into what happened in that game, and statistics would show that the Eagles actually outplayed the Patriots by a wide margin. The biggest stat, though, was that the Patriots had three interceptions off the Eagles, and the Eagles had none off the Patriots. I'm not saying that the Eagles' offense is going to be too much for their defense, but with how they destroyed Minnesota in the championship game, it will be a tough challenge for the Patriots' defense. I will say, though, that if they allow Nick Foles to throw for over 350 yards again, and have five receivers go for over 50 receiving yards, there's no way that the Patriots are going to be able to win this game. But then you got to look at it like if the Patriots have a deficit at all during this game, do you really think it's going to affect Tom Brady for wanting to go for another comeback in his career? I mean, at this point, you can't even get excited if your team's up by three scores because you know Tom Brady's willing to pull something out. I mean, I get that the Patriots are favored to win this game, but in my eyes, I honestly believe that this might be one of the only times I'll say that the Patriots offense is really going to have to outplay their opposition's offense. Now, I'm sorry, but if the Eagles had Carson Wentz playing in this game, I, I mean, I would go ahead and say right then and there, the Eagles are going to win this Super Bowl. Now, as we all know, I can't really say that for the Eagles. However, this does give some playoff experience as well as some Super Bowl experience for their quarterback they have now in Nick Foles. I know in my last video when I talked about the Vikings and the Eagles, I said that whoever was going to win this game, it was all going to depend on which quarterback actually showed up the most to play. In that situation, though, we were talking about Case Keenum and Nick Foles. We weren't talking Tom Brady and Nick Foles, so I can't really use that in this episode because Tom Brady has more starts in the Super Bowl than Nick Foles does in his playoff career. I will say, though, so far that in the playoffs, Nick Foles has actually really surprised me with how he's played. Can't say that for Tom Brady because Tom Brady really doesn't have anybody to impress because we all know what kind of stuff he has to pull. I will say I feel like Tom Brady has a few more weapons that he can go to instead of Nick Foles having. Um, especially Rob Gronkowski, who we were told earlier this week that he will be playing in the Super Bowl. I feel like if there's one player besides Tom Brady, obviously, that the Eagles defense is going to have to focus on, it's going to have to be Rob Gronkowski. If you look at how his performance was in that short time that he was in the game against Jacksonville, you know, he, he was covered, he was shut down. So I think the Eagles are going to have to have a focus on who the matchup is going to be for Gronk in order to shut him down if they're going to win the Super Bowl. You just got to feel sorry sometimes for the defenses that the Patriots go up against because with a guy like Gronk, he is such a huge target to where sometimes he has to be double teamed and whatnot. So that does cause for Tom Brady to have more open targets downfield. I am going to be biased, however, and say that for the Eagles, I feel like Alshon Jeffrey is going to be a huge target for the Eagles if they're going to be able to win this game as well. The reason why I make it out as a biased opinion is because Alshon Jeffrey was definitely one of my favorites to watch playing college ball down in Carolina. 
but I also got to be biased for Stephon Gilmore. So it'll be kind of cool to see if there's any sort of matchups that go on between those two former teammates. One of my biggest fears about the Super Bowl, and it's not just this matchup, you know, it's every Super Bowl. I just don't want to see a Seahawks and Broncos matchup all over again where, you know, one team just completely blows out another team. I mean, in recent years, especially what happened last year with that crazy comeback from New England, you know, the games have been pretty close. So it's just something that always fears me inside. Now comes the moment of truth to where I give y'all my honest yet sort of biased opinion of who I think might win the Super Bowl this year. Now, in my opinion, when it comes to these two teams in this matchup, this is definitely the hardest Super Bowl I have had to pick a team to win. Now, the Patriots currently hold five Super Bowl titles. If they win this one, then they'll tie my Steelers for the most in history with six. But my Steelers are also in Pittsburgh and, you know, Western PA and Philadelphia's Eastern PA. I'm going to go ahead and go back to when I talked about my bias statement with Alshon Jeffrey. And since, you know, when he was in college, compared to Stephon Gilmore, I liked the offensive side of the ball more. So I'm going to go ahead and say that my team to win the Super Bowl this year is going to be Alshon Jeffrey and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm not saying that I have anything against the Fallen Gilmore. All I'm saying is that, you know, I am going to be biased and I do want the Eagles to win the Super Bowl this year. Let me know what y'all think about my pick and go ahead and comment your team down below of who y'all think might be winning Super Bowl 52 this year. If y'all can go ahead and do me a solid, guys, I would very much appreciate y'all giving me a thumbs up for this video as well as going down to that red subscription button and go ahead and give me a one-up on the subs as well. Hope everybody enjoys the Super Bowl this weekend, but more importantly, hope everybody stays safe. And until then, hey, it's just Matthews, guys.